Alright, so now let's do one of the, what I think is one of the worst missions in this game. Identify Jibri Albara at J2. Is that what it says? This is stupid. Um, what you have to do is you have to point your sniper rifle at people to identify them. And that takes a load of, and that takes a a, a large amount of time because most of the time they're going to be moving yep. all over the place. Got a good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images I'm to wearing a real tux. time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera or another person. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have repercussions, depending on who their friends are. Roman artist. Made a name for himself last year with a controversial exhibit in Paris. Some local juvenile offenses, but otherwise he's clean. Not our target. Okay. Anyone else? A nobody. What? That's it? A nobody? It's mean. Who's this guy? Owns a sports car dealership in Naples. Does a lot of international business, but no criminal record. Not our guy. Looks like the guards are clear. Moving up to the next position. Who wears a baseball cap with a with a suit like that? I mean seriously. Who? In position. Alright. Let's begin. Are you serious? You really want to hide behind the tree? Security guard. He's clean. Dutch flower baron. He's suspected of dipping into the drug trade. But that's all I've got. Nothing really incriminating. Well, she's a little underdressed. Definitely a cold night from the looks of it. All right, Mike. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going? A Spanish celebrity talk show host. He's a known meth user, but nothing related to financing terrorists or arms smuggling. Private security. Ex special forces. Not our man. But definitely a professional. He planned and led the assault that took back the hijacked British jet last year. I remember reading about that. Should I get an autograph for him? No. I work for the infamous Mike Thornton. Compared to you, he's small time. I'm in position overlooking the chateau. A lot of guests tonight. I see. Mike, be very... Careful, I know. I don't want a mob after me before we have a target. Immigrated to France from the West Bank about ten years ago. 
and serves on the board of directors for the Christian Islamic Confederation. <laughs> He's practically a saint. Keep looking. Come on. He's a cop in Rome. Must be moonlighting as a bodyguard for one of these guys. Come on. This is why I don't like sniper rifles. An American novelist. He's got a bestseller right now on corporate involvement in the Middle East. Is that any good? I'm waiting for the movie. Anyway, nothing on him. Who the heck's this guy? That's Albara. Albara? That's him. Fine. Found Hold you. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though, and... Mean, do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from, or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al Samad, right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But I might be wrong. You can take him out, or we can abort. It's up to you. Should I kill him? Now let's aboard. I'm aborting the mission. All right, Mike. Agent Thornton identified Albaro and waited for the background check to be complete. And upon receiving the information, Albaro's ties to out to Shahid were confirmed, but seem he seemed innocent to any wrongdoing. So Thornton departed the premises after making a positive ID. Now it says a message waited for me at my safe house. Let's see what it is. What's that beeping noise? He knew I was stalking him. Or at least he knew I was trying to find him. If you stalk a man with politician and criminal connections, kill him before he uses his contacts to track you down. I know you were lurking outside the chat too, and I don't know why. Consider my interest peaked. I refuse to let you intimidate me. Let's meet face to face. See if you have the guts to kill me in broad daylight. Meet me at the cafe. I'll borrow it. Uh, I'll agree. If you want to meet, so be it. I have questions about events here in Rome, and I suspect you have some answers. No sign of Albara yet. Maybe he stood you up. 
I don't know. Something feels wrong. Hmm. Well, stay alert. I'm starting to trust your instincts. What the? <laughs> Sorry, that's Switch off your transmitter. Warburg? If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. Okay. Transmitter's off. I don't plan on reaching for my gun unless you make it necessary. Once I have the information I need, I plan to leave. You will not be harmed. Perhaps you thought you could enter Rome under the radar. You almost did. But you broadcast your location. Eventually. I had to. You were my last lead. I'm here to find out what Halbeck is doing in Rome and their ties to al -Samad. And what led you to believe that Halbeck has any interests in Rome or al -Samad? Are you denying that either one is true? I do not believe you would have come here without evidence. And what makes you think that? You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton. You've served in several military engagements until you were recruited, a soldier. I prefer the term commando, actually. I've been adding bullet points to my resume since you saw the last draft. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. And you were the one who crossed paths with a German mercenary in Moscow. Z. I get around. And she was a little insistent we get together. Bastard. I am not surprised. She is a mercenary, but hardly professional. Or discreet, it seems. Have you two had dealings before? Contract disputes only. So you've done your homework. Congratulations. I know who you are, too. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, Toady, henchman. Chief of security, as of a year ago. Those gloves keep the dirt off? Ah, uh, yes. And the blood, when need be. Yes. You, on the other hand, have managed to enter Rome quietly. I didn't know you were here until an hour ago. You're skilled at keeping a low profile. No murders, no public announcement. Very impressive. What happened to Albara? Dead, of course. Killed? Once you'd ID'd him, well, his use to me was at an end. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. I was tracking down a lead, and it looks like I found it. I see. So you thought all you had to do was wait and we would speak. Interesting. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. So am I. And I think we have room to negotiate. No. I am not authorized to make deals. Besides... I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. Those are your terms. Allow you to carry out your mission, and I stay out of the way. Yes. You realize I would be betraying my country. Yes, and that does not change my terms. I understand your feelings, and... I encourage you to set them aside. 
So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. Why should I negotiate with you? How long will it be before they have a new chief of security, new secrets? You're just getting set up like I was. You are ignorant. Halbeck is not the same hierarchy as your organization, and the term loyalty is not used there lightly. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. I confess, you slipped into Rome almost without us noticing. You were even more difficult to track after that. Between Halbeck and local authorities, the locals were the tough ones. No matter. Mr. Marburg found you. That must have been a surprise, meeting up for lunch like that. Well, we talked. He had a lot to say about Halbeck and some suggestions about my involvement with your corporation. Really? I can rarely get three words from the man. Feel free to have him threaten you whenever you get tired of listening to yourself. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Oh, we laughed, we cried, we had a grand old time. That Marburg, he could do a killer impression of you. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which... This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered... Did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. In the end, it was. I'm guessing Marburg hates suave stances, I guess. And he loves professional, because he seemed to get... I got two dislikes from that douchebag. But I don't like him. Mike, we may have a problem. The VCI employee I mentioned before, Madison... I think she's going to act. What do you mean? The now? She's calling the operator and asking for you by oh, name. Shit. She can't be working for Marburg, unless this is a trap. Who is she calling? The city directory. And maybe the police next. If she does... Can you intercept the call? Redirect it? What? Why? I want to know why she's looking for me. Okay, let me patch her through. Operator? Miss St. James? Uh, hello? Yes, is this the operator? No, Miss St. James, this is Michael Thornton. Oh, thank God. Mr. Thornton, please, you have to listen to me. I don't believe we've met before. How do you know my name and why are you calling? I have reason to believe your life is in danger. I know it sounds crazy, but... You don't say. I don't want to discuss the details over the phone. This line may be tapped. She's a sharp one. But it's important I speak to you immediately. Is there some place we can meet? Of course. I'll send you the address of a local restaurant. All right. I still have to hail a cab. I'll have one sent to your cross streets. Oh. Okay. I'll see you soon, Miss St. James. I guess she loves professional approaches. Alright guys, prepare for some serious lag.
Alright, we got some dossier information on that Madison St. James character. Alright. Next episode, we will be going to talk to this Madison St. James. <laughs>